Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range tonight doing a little bit of planking, a little bit of goofing around. <laughs> and uh, I am running out of light pretty quick, but I wanted to do another video for you guys. I've been shooting some 22s out here, but I wanted to do a little bit more pellet testing with my Crossman Icon. Um, topped off with a Discovery Opt. This is the 4 to 16 by 44. What a nice scope. Uh, I mean, I've got a couple other really budget, budget, budget friendly scopes that uh, are a lot less expensive, but this thing has got, it's crystal clear. It is close to $100, so it's, uh, you know, not right with those other budget friendly pellets. But uh, what we're going to be doing here, so this is the Crossman Icon, totally decked out with the buck rail uh, tactical kit, got the hand grip uh, adapter and the uh, buffer tube adapters and I have a B5 uh, flat dark earth hand grip very nice very grippy <laughs> and a uh, Magpul flat dark earth buttstock uh, bipod on the front got a buck rail silencer out front making everything quiet but I was just going to run through these this uh, h and n hunting pellet sampler that uh, I've actually had for a while now it was sent over to me by Morrow from California shooting supplies but we're gonna go through and just do a group with each one of them and uh, and see what we can do so we've got the Barracuda hunters for starters uh, they are an 18.21 green <clears throat> we'll just do I'm just gonna do a five shot group with each one and Hopefully this, when I had this out the other day, it was zeroed at 25 yards, so that's where I'm at still. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll stay there. <laughs> but uh, we'll go through each one of these. It is very, it is getting very dark out. Um, I really wish this camera, well, I, I guess it's not a bad thing that this camera doesn't, uh, lets me continue film until it's almost completely pitch black out but uh, all right so these are the barracuda hunters they're they're a round nose but they have a hollow point I'm gonna sh I haven't I haven't shot this one at all since I came out today so I'm gonna shoot at the center of the target just to make sure to see if you know maybe I maybe I uh, bounced it around and knocked the scope off a little bit i don't think i did but nope so hitting a little to the left but that's okay man this scope is so nice i really was planning on doing the full review on this guy, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time with the light left. I, hope, I think that went into the same hole as one of those other ones. I did not even see. Okay, there it is. Yep. That's a nice looking group. I might have to might have to find some more of these Barracuda Hunters. Oh yeah, really nice. That is super nice. This is really turning out to be a pretty nice gun. I've been shooting it a little bit off camera too. So now the next ones are uh, Cro-Magnums. Cro-Magnums Cro are also an 18.21 green. These are also like a hollow point, but they're a much, much more hollowed out hollow point. All right, 
five shots with the Cro Magnums. Just topped the gun off before I started, so should have plenty of plenty of air. All right, let's see here. We'll go to three o'clock. Still a little to the left. Might give it a couple clicks to the right before we keep on. So this gun does have the same type of trigger group as the like your Crossman Optimus and other uh, brake barrel type of guns and uh, I did do the RC bearing mod to this one. What a difference in trigger. Went from a th three pound uh, three pound nine ounce to a 14. Oh, mosquitoes are out. I think I, I double fed that one, but uh, still wasn't bad. All right, these next ones are a Barracuda Power, and these are a copper plated. So that's one thing you got to watch out with uh, with these. It's it's like that with a lot of these Crossmans, though not just this one. So these are a uh, copper plated, and these are the heaviest ones. They're a 21.14. So I'm gonna run a couple clicks here to the left or to the right. wasn't too much. It's a one-eighth click. One-eighth MOA click, which eight clicks at a 25 yards is only a, should only be a quarter of an inch. All right, so there's the mosquitoes are really, really starting to swarm now that the uh, Sun is dipping down. Let's go to 12 o'clock with these ones. All right. Just gotta make sure you really do a, a full, nice pronounce. I like to put my thumb on the back of the receiver to make sure I'm getting a real good pullback on that. But it's it's like that on a lot of the Crossman guns with bolts similar to this. All right, good looking group though. Yeah, they all, they're all doing pretty good except for that, that double shot that I did there. I can see that the two pellets came out. It did not do bad for for a double shot though. That's the best group so far. I'm gonna do a couple more clicks to the right. So that should bring me half an inch. All right, let's move on here. So we've got, uh, the next ones are Hornets, which are a 16.20 second lightest pellet of the group. These ones have that little, uh, I think it's brass, brass penetrator point in them. I've shot a bunch of these in the garage. I actually have a tin of these already in 22 caliber and in 177. Actually, I think I have one in 25 caliber as well, but um, trying to do my, uh, <laughs> shoot through my uh, hard drives that I've got from work that needed destroying. But uh, all right, let's go to, uh, let's go to nine o'clock with these guys.
Air's doing good. I, <laughs> I don't know where that went. I don't know if it went into the same group with the other one. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to uh, six o'clock and did I move it too far to the right? Nope, I don't know. I don't know where that, I don't know where that first one went. <laughs> another one in there just to have a good group and I have no idea where that first one went. It's a group of nice. I, I can't imagine where that first one went. Ugh. All right. Forgot to bring my DEET with me. So the mosquitoes are having a field day with me. Let's do one more. Let's do one more hornet just so we have a, a comparable group. I probably should do a couple more of the Cro-Magnums, but I don't want to run out of light here, so. All right, that's a nice looking group too. All right, so these last ones are called Barracuda Green, and they are a 12.96. Uh, These are a lead-free pellet, so I'm, I've not really had much luck with lead-free pellets, so I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get any kind of result with these. It is, uh, it is really dark out. But this scope is really sucking some light up. I can see everything going on down there. Just, just absolutely perfect. All right, so <sighs> can we go to nine o'clock? Oh yeah. That sounded weird. <laughs> it sounded like... That is looking nice. All right, two more shots. Can I get them done before the sun is completely gone? Wow, that's nice. What a nice group. Wow, I'm still sitting good with air. You know what? I don't I don't like that I kind of messed up on those curl magnums. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do them in this, at the same bullseye because I've already shifted it over to the left or to the right now. So now I should be hitting right on the... Uh, still got plenty of air. don't have plenty of his light <laughs> I think I, I think I got enough to get five more if I were shooting a firearm I'd probably be pushing my luck as far as shooting after dusk but uh, this thing's so quiet nobody will know all right same bullseye as the first crow magnums Ugh. That's not great. Mm. 
that big fat hollow point on these guys certainly isn't hurt helping things. So I got three over to the right of the red dot and three to the left of the red dot and below it, <laughs> or two. <clears throat> but hey, everything did good. The Cro-Magnums wasn't the best, but the uh, it wasn't wasn't terrible either. But all the rest of them were pretty much one ragged hole. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Not bad results from a sampler pack. <laughs> but uh, it is really dark out here now. I'm going to be carrying this stuff out with my flashlight <laughs> out to my truck. But uh, it's a lot of fun getting out here tonight. Shot a couple of ne really neat old timer uh, Mossberg 22s. And got to test out a sampler pack of 22s. Can't have much more fun than that. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.